comedogenic guys, we're back versus video and this non comedogenic. Let's be, talk about it. Uh, I'm going to try to keep it quick, try to keep it short, uh, sweet and to the point. Um, it's not so much about soap. Um, directly or like the products it's more about um, ingredients um, so the word of the day is comedogenic I hope I'm saying that right um, and basically let me just give you the dictionary definition comedogenic means tending to cause blackheads by blocking the pores of the skin so something that is comedogenic means that something that will clog your pores, basically, um, that can cause blackheads. Um, so as you guys know, I make products and I use natural oils, I use natural butters. Now there's something that's called a comedogenic scale. Um, with numbers ranging from zero to five and basically um the skin oils or the skin butters fall within the categories of being non-comedogenic or comedogenic com com non-comedogenic um falls in the numbers between zero and two so zero zero one two comedogenic i know i'm saying this word wrong Comedogenic. Comedogenic falls between numbers uh, three to five. So three, four, and five. So let me just give you an example of some oils and some butters that are commonly used in skincare products and where they fall. So let's say, for example, olive oil. Olive oil is non comedogenic, it falls under the number two. Um, so it's safe to use on, let's say, my skin type, um, which is oily or acne prone um, without, you know, clogging my pores or causing any breakouts. Now, cocoa butter and coconut oil is actually commodogenic. Um, it falls under number four. So my skin type will not do well. But if you have dry skin, those are definitely, uh, you want to look for um, products with those ingredients. Um, so let me just give you a few others. So like I said, 0-1-2 commodogenic, meaning not going to clog the pores. 3-5 to five, commodogenic, could possibly clog your pores, okay? So we have 0, safflower oil, hemp seed oil, very popular oils. 1. Neem oil, grapeseed oil, which is why I like to use them in um, the lemon tea uh, body scrub as well as the lemon tea body butter because, again, like I said, they're for acne-prone skin like mine. Um, break out in a heartbeat. <laughs> so that's neem oil, grapeseed oil, castor oil. As thick as castor oil is, it is a one um, and almond oil. Those are all ones. Now twos, again, I said olive oil, mango butter, shea butter, again, great for um, the lemon tea body butter. I believe we spoke about this in the last video. Um, so it's non-commodogenic. So you can use it for acne prone skin, for oily skin. Um, and jojoba oil. Now we're getting into the commodogenic, can possibly clog your pores. Um, avocado oil is a three. And last but not least, coconut oil and cocoa butter are both fours. I do not have any fives. Um, so that's just a quick rundown, brief explanation about the difference between commodogenic and non-commodogenic. I hope I explained that well to you guys. Um, stay tuned for another video. And, you know, this was just something quick just to give you some information. All right. See you later.